to the Park Maternity Centre at Huntingdon. Join us for a walk through the park. Here you will meet some of our dedicated maternity team and discover what makes the park so special. We are the maternity unit of choice for many women and families from within the hospital catchment area and further afield across our geographical boundaries. Based within Hinchinbrook Hospital, the Park Maternity Centre offers many options for care, encompassing all women's individual needs and wishes. The midwifery and obstetric team, together with a close network of professionals and support agencies, will work with you to ensure a positive experience throughout your pregnancy journey. I had my daughter Ella uh, on the 9th of October 2015 here at the park. I think the, the best thing I experienced here was um, the professional standard of care from the staff. It was all really reassuring and I felt confident in their abilities and the level of care that I was going to be receiving while I was here. The majority of women will have care provided by a community midwife. Once you have registered your pregnancy at your GP surgery, a booking appointment will be arranged where you will meet your midwife. At the booking appointment, details of your medical, social, emotional and any previous pregnancy history will be discussed and recorded in your personal pregnancy record. Migraines or severe headaches? No. This is the complete record of your pregnancy journey and should be kept with you at all times. Your care pathway will be determined in conjunction with you and pregnancy information including parent education will be discussed. So do you mind if I take your blood pressure? No, this is your booking blood pressure. There will be full discussions about the screening options available and you'll be asked to make some choices at this time. So um, at your booking appointment, what I like to do is take some bloods if that's okay with you. Yeah. The booking blood test will be taken to ensure there are no initial complications with your pregnancy. Ongoing antenatal clinics are held in the GP surgeries or some children's centres and follow the recommended NICE antenatal care guidelines. You will be given contact numbers to use if you have any concerns or questions at any point during your pregnancy. As part of the National Screening Programme, you will be offered two scans during your pregnancy, one at approximately 12 weeks to accurately date your pregnancy and to give an estimated date of delivery, and one between 18 and 20 weeks to identify potential developmental problems with your baby. You may be offered additional scans during your pregnancy and these will be discussed fully with you. The scans will be undertaken by a sonographer who may also be a qualified midwife or one of the obstetric medical team. During the scan you will have time to ask questions and if you wish, once the initial scan is complete, your children and any other members of the family will be able to come into the scan room to meet the newest member of your family. Where am I going to sit? Park Maternity Centre has close partnership working between midwives and obstetricians who together with you will plan your care pathway. If you have pre-existing medical condition or develop a condition in pregnancy that requires involvement of obstetrics team such as gestational diabetes or have a twin pregnancy then you will have your care provided by combination of obstetrics team, medical teams and your community midwife. Our consultant colleagues have specialist interest that you will be referred to the most appropriate person to support your needs. Last but not the least, Park Maternity Centre has evidence-based care at its heart and has an active research programme involving both midwives and obstetrician which have proven positive outcomes for women in our care. Park Maternity Centre Day Assessment Unit, Emma speaking. Hello and welcome to the Maternity Day Assessment Unit. If you have a more complex pregnancy or have concerns or conditions that develop in your pregnancy, you may need to attend the day assessment unit. This may be a pre-arranged appointment or it may be a referral from your community midwife, GP or from yourself. The maternity day assessment unit is found at the front of the hospital and we have a team of midwives who have developed a specialist knowledge. This team works closely with the obstetric team to support your pregnancy. 
Routine midwife-led and obstetric consultant clinics will take place in the Lily Zone in Hinching Brooks Treatment Centre. If you live outside the Park Maternity Centre's geographical area and you've chosen to birth with us, then you will have a scan and midwife appointment over in Lily Clinic. Park Maternity Centre is proud to have one of the only post-dates complementary therapy clinics in the Eastern region. If you've had an uncomplicated pregnancy, an uncomplicated pregnancy history and your pregnancy has reached 41 weeks, offered an appointment at one of our midwife-led clinics. These are held within hospital and community settings. You will be offered a full antenatal check, a membrane sweep, acupressure on three specific points, with oils, all of which are known to encourage labour and potentially avoid a medical induction of labour. After treatment I felt really relaxed and um, a little bit apprehensive because I was like, oh is it going to work? Um, I had my treatment at 2 o'clock in the afternoon and Rafferty was born 7 o'clock the next morning so it definitely worked. <laughs> The midwife-led birthing unit provides a relaxing home-from-home -home environment where you'll be cared for by midwives and maternity care assistants. We encourage you to follow your body with the use of mobilisation, the change of positions, birthing balls, birthing stools, mats, massage and breathing techniques. The medical and paediatric team will only become involved if there becomes a need and are immediately available for support. If you wish to have an injection for pain relief, this can be given. However, if you wish to have an epidural, you will need to transfer around the corner onto labour ward. The birth pool sits conveniently between the primrose suite and the labour ward and is accessible from both areas. Your midwife or obstetrician will discuss your options for labour and birth towards the end of your pregnancy. So I really wanted as natural labour as possible um, and I visited the hospital before and I liked to live at the Primrose Suite so I was delighted to be offered the opportunity to deliver on the Primrose Suite. I was in established labour and I asked to go in the pool and she said that's no problem at all and um, gave me some gas and air while the, bath, while the pool was filling up. And then I came in here with my husband um, and it was just a very relaxed experience. The labour ward consists of eight delivery rooms, an assessment room, we have a two bed bay for recovery following cesarean section. All of our rooms have ensuite facilities. And the recently opened meadow suite with dedicated facilities for those ladies who have undergone a pregnancy loss. If you have a more complex pregnancy or are likely to deliver preterm, or you or your baby require more continuous monitoring, you would be advised to birth on the labor ward. We have a dedicated theater with a theatre team on call 24 hours a day. You'll be cared for by midwives in conjunction with the obstetric team where there is a consultant and an anaesthetist available at all times. 
My name is Tracy James and I'm the ward manager of the special care baby unit here at Hinchinbrook Hospital. The park has a close partnership with the special care baby unit which is run by Cambridgeshire Community Services. The special care baby unit links to the labour ward via a short corridor. Here babies who are over 30 weeks gestation or 32 weeks with twins will have care given by the dedicated team. Babies who are born below this gestation will be stabilised by the expert paediatric team prior to transfer to another unit, although ideally transfer to an alternative hospital will have taken place prior to delivery. Lilac Ward is the Park Maternity Centre's combined antenatal and postnatal ward. If you have to stay in hospital during your pregnancy or recently delivered your baby and wish to stay in hospital, you will have care given by midwives and maternity and care assistants. Just thinking about your immediate families, okay? So that's your mum, your dad, your brothers or your sisters. There are five bays, each with five beds in the shower room and three single rooms with ensuite facilities. We actively support you in your chosen method of feeding for your baby and will support the initiation of breastfeeding following the baby friendly principles. Both you and your baby will receive a full check every day taking into account your physical and emotional needs. During your stay you will be offered a top to toe newborn examination which we call a nice thing. possible to start with just listening to her heart alright and then once I've listened and heard You will also be offered a hearing screen for your baby. This will be undertaken within 72 hours of birth by a trained midwife or paediatrician. It will be fully discussed with you and any follow-up appointments will be arranged. If your baby requires a BCG immunisation, then you will receive an appointment to attend a clinic in the maternity day assessment unit. If you have a home birth or choose to have an early discharge, then these appointments can be arranged for you as an outpatient. To the Park Maternity Unit at Hinchingbrook Hospital, we are proud to be able to offer women and their partners a specialist service called Birth Afterthoughts. A dedicated team of experienced midwives provide an opportunity for women and their partners to refer themselves to the service at any point in time after the birth of their baby at Hinchingbrook Hospital. You will be given an appointment for a one-to-one -one session with an empathetic midwife who will have access to your pregnancy notes. A birth afterthought session can be an invaluable opportunity to discuss your birth experience, fill in possible gaps of knowledge, or discuss thoughts and feelings which may be worrying you, and to provide a general debrief. This may also be helpful for couples who are contemplating another pregnancy and wish to discuss previous birth experiences. Birth Afterthoughts is very well utilised within our maternity unit and the feedback that we receive is extremely positive. As midwives we are delighted to be able to offer this unique service to all who require it. Once you have been discharged home, your community team will be informed and you will receive a home visit the next day. Here, the community midwife will discuss your birth, support you with feeding and ensure there are no immediate concerns. They will discuss both physical and emotional changes following birth and also give you support contact numbers. You will receive a visit on day five to undertake your baby's newborn blood spot test with your consent and a discharge visit either at home or in a clinic setting. Additional visits may be needed and will be arranged on an individual basis. Care is given by our community midwives and maternity care assistants and feeding support can be accessed from a variety of settings within the local community. So once I got home, I had a visit from the community midwives the day after. Um, they were great at reassuring us that the amount of sleep we'd had uh, was normal and um, how to look after Ella to the best of our abilities. Once you have been discharged from midwifery care, information about your progress and any concerns is transferred to the health visitor who will visit you when your baby is 14 days old. They were really good at making sure that we knew that they were there for support if 
ever we needed it and I felt really reassured by that as well. Thank you for joining us on our walk through the park. The team look forward to welcoming you to the Park Maternity Centre and sharing in your pregnancy journey.